Welcome to Beyond the Whiteboard. I'm going to take you through a quick overview of the navigation and the whiteboard to get you up to speed on how the Beyond the Whiteboard interface works. So um, if you ever click on this Beyond the Whiteboard logo, it will take you back to your whiteboard. Okay. On the log uh, menu item, you can log a workout, you can log a meal, you can log a weigh-in, or you can log a journal entry. If you click to go to the plan calendar, you'll be able to add workouts, weigh-ins, and rest days uh, to the calendar for yourself. Or if you're a gym admin, you can add things to your gym calendar, to your different tracks, and you can also add things uh, to uh, some of your members' calendars. If you hover over explore, you can explore gyms and find out different gyms on the site. You can explore workouts and uh, try to look for a workout. Uh, maybe find a new workout, find popular workouts. Um, if you explore movements, you can see your whole movement history and a breakdown of all the movements on the site and how often you've done them and information like that. If you click on explore tracks, um, it'll take you to a page that'll let you know all the tracks that you can add to your calendar, all the programming tracks that you want to show up on your calendar that are available to you. You can decide to follow those, or if there's something on your calendar you don't want to show up, you can unfollow those from that page. If you're a gym admin, you'll see um, a drop down for your gym with a lot of settings, uh, admin settings that you can access from there. And uh, if you click over the picture of yourself, then you can see all the settings for your profile and your privacy and, and all the places that are relative and relevant to you. If you ever see your name or your uh, photo like this and you click, that will take you to your profile that has information about all of your posts and all your benchmarks. If you click on uh, the name of your gym, that'll take you to your gym profile, and that has information about all of your um, you know, gym leaderboards, recent wads, member activity. You can find other members in your gym, um, and that kind of stuff. And so now we can get down here to the whiteboard calendar. Um, and here you have access to, uh, to click here on this calendar. You can go any day. You can also uh, click here for any week that you're interested in or for a month view and see the whole month calendar. You can click view month. Okay, so by default, you'll see this two week view. Um, and here we have the track controls, which uh, will toggle the, in, uh, the uh, visibility of the different tracks on your, uh, um, on your calendar. And on your calendar, you'll see um, all the information for uh, what you have coming up and also what you've posted. Um, if you click on any particular day, um, like say we click on Tuesday, it'll take you to the day view, which will have some more information. Um, and it'll also give you these uh, movement breakdowns. And if you click on that uh, for deadlift, it's going to show me a uh, deadlift video with some info, show me my recent max efforts that I've set, um, some recent deadlift workouts, as well as CrossFit Journal articles that have to do with the deadlift. And this is available for any movement that shows up in one of your workouts that you're not sure about or you want more info. Uh, if we go back to that week view, you can also click on any item on the calendar. And so if I click on this um, Helen that I did yesterday, um, it'll give me my information about the Helen. I can uh, click here to go to my profile, go to the gym profile. I can go to, um, if I click on the name of the workout, it'll take me to the workout page itself. If I click on my result, it'll take me to the page for my result. And then down here, I can click to view the CrossFit Kinnick uh, gym results for that workout. And I can see that there was 79 other people at my gym that posted for this particular wad. I can also um, edit. If there was an issue with my posting, I can edit my result. I can add a video if I've taken a video that I want to tag to my uh, workout session. And I can also delete that session if I want, all from this dialog. And that's for a workout I've already done. Now, if I look at what I have for today, I can click and see um, this EMOM of deadlift. And um, I can click here to, to log that result. And if I look at a, a workout that I've done before, say this one, um, you can see a previous score here and when it was, and I can actually click through and find out more details about that uh, previous score to see, uh, you know, give me some idea of what I want to do next time. So this is the, uh, the week calendar. We can go back and forth in this calendar if I want to um, back it up a little bit uh, to see what was happening. Um, you can do that. Now moving on here, we have this uh, lifestyle log here on the left, and this is uh, a chance for you to easily track with just a few clicks um, the important aspects of, or most important aspects of your um, lifestyle. And we have questions about how much did you sleep, 
about hydration, about mobility, and uh, you can just click these things real quick um, based on yesterday. We always ask about yesterday. That way you can, uh, you know, the day's done and you know what you ended up doing. Um, if you have, if you've done any mobility and how long, um, how did you eat? Good zone paleo. Um, fish oil, how many grams? I took two to four grams. Um, and how did you feel? I felt good. And this, as you click these things, you'll notice over here you're getting points and it'll tell you how many points that you've earned each day so far this week. And then it'll also give you the gym av your gym average uh, points per day and also the site average uh, points per day. And this is actually uh, showing you the 75th percentile to just kind of compare yourself against. Now, um, if you've noticed also, this M was originally red when I hadn't answered the questions. And as the week goes on, you can actually go back to previous days and fill in questions if you forgot. And, uh, and that'll let you know uh, kind of where you're at. But this is a nice way to see... Um, you know, maybe if you're not seeing the results you want in the gym, these are things that you can uh, work on and improve that are proven to increase your performance, increase your uh, recovery, your work capacity, your progress. And so uh, these are all important uh, metrics to track for yourself. And if you click on anything here, you'll actually get a full uh, week breakdown by question um, so you can see how you've been doing and also see um, how your gym and the site as well has been doing for these things. So, um, that is the lifestyle log all right and then over here we have the gym activity area which will show you some recent uh, posts and activity at your gym and you can also click view entire activity stream to see um, a lot more activity um, of your from your gym members this module here will give you a quick summary of your weigh-in uh, my recent weigh-ins were just on weight so i can have i see uh um, I've 186 pounds, and I was down one pound from my previous weigh-in. Um, if you uh, take your measurements, then this will give you your change in body fat as well as your change in lean mass. And if I'd like to do a new weigh-in, I can click here. If I could, if I'd like to change the uh, the period I'm looking at, I can also adjust that there. And then below there, we have this uh, little movement summary. Uh, this is a miniature of what you'd find on the Explore uh, Movements page. And this is just going to show me my breakdown. This means 59% uh, 50, of my workouts have had weightlifting in them. 17% uh, have had monostructural things like running and rowing. And 24% have had uh, gymnastic movements like pull-ups, push-ups, things like that. And so you can see the breakdown from this last three-month period and the change from the previous three-month period. And I can also change this to, uh, to see the last nine months and so on and so forth. And I can even click here to see my entire uh, movement history. So this is the, the whiteboard and um, hopefully uh, you'll, you'll uh, get a lot of use out of it. And uh, we'll see you soon.